Okay, today I'm going to go over a special hand drill spindle, and I'm also going to show you how to make a what I call a broken stick fireboard. It's probably one of the simplest ways that I've made a fireboard, basically just using a stick and a tree. Works real simple. You want to be a little careful because you want it to break right. And hopefully, if Murphy's Law doesn't catch up with me, let's see what happens. And it caught up with me. Let's try this again. Here we go. Got it to split. I can actually use either one of these. But I'm going to break a few more and I'll see what I can come up with and I'll pick the best one. Okay, I've made a selection of fireboards that I'm going to use. I'll just pick one out of the group and go with it. Basically, I'm going to be going over my, my River Cane hand drill spindle. And you can see it's already put together, but I'll walk you through the process of how I did this, just in case you want to recreate this on your own. You saw the video that I did on my hand drill spindle variation using a piece of, piece of walnut and the mullen spindle tip. The principle's the same. There's a lot of places out here where you grab spindles that are just too crooked to use. This is just basically a way to use the straight-ish piece and put it in as a bit. Okay, so the fireboard that I'm going to use, I'm going to put these out of the way, and I'm going to go ahead and use this piece of cottonwood. To do that, i got to actually fix the fireboard up and prepare it for the hand drill spindle. And I've just got a broken piece of jasper agate here, and I'm going to make a stone saw right here on the spot and a couple of these you've already seen this one is actually a square knife that that I'd made and you can see it's serrated it does have a pretty good edge on it and I could use this as a saw if I wanted to but again I'll demonstrate how to make a saw in a previous video you saw me use this to start the the hole for the to seat the spindle and I will be using this again as well now to make the, the saw, I have a good sharp edge right here that I can actually work. And to make the serrations, I'm going to use an antler tine that I use as a necklace sometimes, and this also works as a trap trigger. So with this, all I'm going to do just nap off a little bit of material, give some serrations, just like saw teeth. And that is basically all it takes. It's real quick, it's easy. First off, I'm going to start out by drilling the hole so I can get my spindle seated. And when I get to using this, I may actually have to prepare it, get a little bit of a better point. We'll see how it goes. There we have it. Now we're ready for our notch. Now with the stone tool, I'm just going to carve in and cut my notch. You 
you can see it's going pretty quickly. Now carving the notch with the stone tool does take a little bit of time. And it takes a little getting used to. But you can see that with the angle, I get a perfect V right off the bat. Okay, now for the hand drill spindle. This is a piece of Carrizo cane. It's basically the same thing as, as common river cane found back east. What I did was I split it, as you can see the split here and here, to where I could put my hand drill bit inside. I stuck the natural jute twine in here to help kind of seat it and put pressure against it so that when you're using it it doesn't turn. Then I wrapped it and tied it off at the end. Now, you're probably asking why is there so much jute twine? Well there's a reason. As I, as I cut this little knot to replace the bit, there's going to be progressively less and less and less. This gives me enough time and enough cord to be able to change out my bit multiple times without having to add more cordage. Also, the cord that I cut can be put into my tinder bundle and used as a coal extender, or should I have the option, I can use it with my ferro rod to start a fire. One other thing about using the Carrizo cane as a hand drill spindle, you'll see that it's been roughened up. I had to take my knife and shave off the slippery outer coating. And the reason I did this is to give myself grip. If you don't do this, it'll be a little too slick to use in the hand. I found that out from experience. Look. 